Saki wangwa na kwa le mchele kwa kukuku mwaga Saki wana wapenda ya tusema ni tasikia Hello everyone, my name is Morty Shapiro and I'm the president of Northwestern University. Uh, about a week ago, I got an email from Lila Wells, I have it right in front of me, and it said, uh, Hi President Shapiro, would you make a short video for our Tanzanian scholars? And um, I have to admit, I didn't say this to you, Lila, but if you're watching now, as I assume you are, my, my initial reaction is no, I've started writing actually an email saying, I am swamped. Uh, I get asked to do videos every day, and I, I can't do more than maybe 10% of them. And I was about to say, I'm sorry, I just can't do it. And then all of a sudden I said, well, Tanzanian scholars, well, I got I to gotta read about this. And I read about the Unite Youth Ambassador Program, and uh, it reminded me, I don't know if Lila knows that, but I did two brief stints in Tanzania in the 1980s. I'm a professor of economics, and while the economics of the developing world and development economics, so to speak, is not my main field, I'm a labor economist, I nonetheless work, at least for a little time, in 17 different countries, about half in Africa and half in Asia, and I was part of a uh, World Bank project that we did in the late 1980s, right around 1990, a long time ago, ancient history, uh, when we wrote a book together called Successful Development in Africa. So, you know, when I read about this program and I looked at the biographies of the Tanzanian scholars, I said, okay, I'm doing this. I'm not going to miss this opportunity. So uh, I think I have another five minutes or so to give my message. And initial request was maybe talk about leadership. That's not really my field. I thought I'd talk about economics and about... Um, you know, the experience of economists working in the developing world, and then something about what does it mean for your own educations as undergrads. I know there are a number of Northwestern undergrads who are probably going to watch this video, and, and then our colleagues in Tanzania. So the first thing to say about the uh, record of uh, development economists throughout Africa, especially, but in, in Asia as well, uh, it's been a disappointing record, and again, it's not my principal field. If, if you're unfamiliar with it, I would recommend uh, Joseph Stiglitz, a Nobel laureate, who um, you know had extensive experience at the World Bank and worked in a lot of countries, who wrote a, a fascinating critique of why what we recommended, even when implemented, wasn't as successful as we hoped. I don't believe it was because we had... Uh, Bad, it was any bad will. I think we really cared. And the people with whom I worked uh, in Africa and elsewhere for years, you know, I was doing this on and off for about eight years, um, really were well-meaning, but that didn't make us effective. And, and I, I, I have a book here, that Sense and Sensibility, that I co-wrote with uh, Gary Saul Morrison, one of my best friends and colleagues at Northwestern, who's a Slavic literature professor. We wrote a book about subtitle, What Economics Can Learn from the Humanities. And I tell a story in the beginning of the book of being at the Central Bank in Cairo. I think this might have been 1981 or some year around then. So I was working in Egypt. Um, and I was doing, giving some advice about what they might want to do. And then uh, the next week I was in Khartoum, Om Durman. I was in Sudan. And then after that I was in Nairobi in Kenya and then in Dar. Uh, and then Malawi, and then uh, Nigeria, and then Liberia, and, you know, reflecting on it now and thinking about the advice, and I could see maybe why we weren't more successful. Um, some of it was probably good. You don't want to over-regulate the economy. You don't want to, uh, you know, try to replace imports. You want to stimulate exports. There's certain things, principles of economic development that I think are long-standing. But the problem is when you give advice to people in East Africa and then a month later you're doing the same talk in West Africa or you're up in Egypt and Sudan and then you're doing it in Malawi and Tanzania, it's not going to work very well because you're not going to know enough about the specific character and culture of those countries. And that's why I think we haven't been more successful. And that was a lesson I learned even though, again, it's not my main field, and that's one we talk about in this book. So what does it mean for what you study 
in college or in grad school, I, I, you know, I get asked a lot, especially when I teach an econometric, supplied econometric seminar, you know, by people who study econ and math, you know, you know, they say to me, uh, Professor Shapiro, I have another elective before I graduate. I, what's the next statistics or econometrics course I should take or economic theory course or math course? And, and I always say, you know, what do you want to do? And, and a lot of them, you know, grew up in the States. They live in the States, went to high school in the States. And, you know, they say that they're intrigued by Asia or Africa and they want to make a difference and they want to apply the skills they've learned at Northwestern you know, to helping people, not only in the U.S., but throughout the world, and particularly the developing world. And I said, well, you know, what do you know about Africa? You know, have you studied, you know, history, the politics, the art, the music, the literature, the language? And quite often I get blank stares facing me. No, 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 not really. I said, well, don't make the mistake I did when you go in country and know nothing about the countries you're at, that you're legitimately trying to help. And I and that's, that's always my message. So I think a broad education um, and not having the hubris to think that somehow you're coming from the outside, you know enough about a culture to give sage, wise advice because you don't. So that's my message. Uh, again, reading the biographies of the scholars from Tanzania, I, I was so encouraged about the future of this very uh, uncertain world. But also knowing a number of the Northwestern students participating in this program also gives me hope. So again, I, if I said anything that makes sense or resonates good, if not, all I want to say is congratulations. Keep that program going. And I'm honored to be able to say a few words uh, on behalf of myself and of Northwestern University. Thank you and go Cats. <laughs>